My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The salah that the man prays at his house or at his workplace, the salah that he prays at the masjid with jama'ah is twenty-five times more than the salah." that he prays at home and at his workplace and we are talking about multiplication in this hadith brothers imagine the five daily prayers that you are praying on daily basis being multiplied by 25 times which means that in the Islamic calendar you will you will be praying 1800 farub where are the person who is doing this for at the masjid with the congregation is doing 45,000 times look at the difference brothers Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by telling us this hadith he is enticing those ambitious Muslims who would want to ha have higher levels of rewards with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and go to higher levels of Jannah he says 25 times better than the prayer that you do at your workplace or at the comfort of your house and not only that this hadith is carrying on giving us few more rewards that if we reflect on brothers we would have the motivation to come to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray salah he said if the believer walks or rides to the masjid and he is not going for anything other than salah other than to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is not going to have a social life in the masjid is going to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he pray for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity he said every step that he takes to the salah either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him will give him a reward and will rank his level in the Jannah imagine how many steps that you can walk or drive toward in the masjid some people leave 5,000 steps away from the masjid or 10,000 steps whether you drive and whether you walk, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward. Imagine 10,000 sins were given for you, or 10,000 rewards are given to you, or 10,000 levels are ranked yani in, the, in the Jannah for you just by attending one prayer. And not only that, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and when he goes to the masjid and prays Salatul Jama'ah, congregational prayer, and cities where he had prayed at he will be given the reward as if he's continuously praying as long as he does not cause harm to anyone as long as he does not argue with a believer and these things they nullify our deeds and as long as he does not break his wudu breaking your wudu would yani, would pose your reward and not only that, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said while he is praying, while he is sitting in the masjid waiting for another salah, Allah will write for him the reward as if he is praying. Imagine praying consistently and continuously. And on top of that, the malaika, the angels of Allah are making dua for you. Allahumma gfillahu, Allahumma rahamh, oh Allah forgive this person, oh Allah bestow your mercy upon him. You do not know how much blessings that you are having by just spending that time with tranquility and peace in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sometimes you come to the masjid to pray two, rakah, two prayers together Maghrib and Isha and you end up attending halaqa, a circle of knowledge or the circle of Quran and that will be an extra reward that you are getting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala some of the rewards that would excite the Muslim is that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever prays salatul Isha in the congregation in, in the masjid with congregation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give him the reward as if he was praying half of the night in Salatul Layl people are waking up to pray Salatul Layl yani night prayer and we have spoken about it imagine by just coming to the jama'ah praying with the people Allah will give you as if you have prayed half of the night and if you do that prayer with jama'ah and Salatul Fajr together Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward as if you have been standing 
O Salah to live the whole night. How much more rewards can we achieve by coming to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In one hadith that يعني, would encourage us, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا رَأَيْتُمُ الرَّجُلَ يَعْتَادُ الْمَسَاجِدِ If you see the man having the habit of going to the houses of Allah, to the masajid, and many Muslims, unfortunately many men who are Muslims, without excuse, they are having the comfort of their home, they are praying at home and they are neglecting the prayer in the masjid even though they could reach the jama'ah in the masjid. He said, if you see the man having the habit and the custom of going to the masjid to pray Salatul Jama'ah, فَشْهَدُوا لَهُ بِالْإِيمَانِ Be witness that he has Iman. In Islam, we cannot, you know, give testimony that a specific person has Iman, except for occasions like this. Because no one, nothing could drive a person to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except with a fear that they have in their heart, which is Iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us high levels of Iman. Also, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the masajid, the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the are the homes of, if, of every pious person. Brothers, give space, inshallah. Masjid is full. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the masjid is the home of the pious people. If you, when you come to the masjid, if you feel home much more than when you are at home, then congratulations that you have a quality of Iman. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه الحمد لله والثناء لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear brothers and sisters Prayer at the masjid with congregation is an obligation upon men and not women Women are allowed to come to pray jama'ah but it's not an obligation or it's not even highly recommended sunnah on them Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Whoever goes to the masjid in the morning and the evening He is a visitor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And Allah is preparing for that person A beautiful dwelling of Jannah for him When you are a visitor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And you sacrifice your time, your comfort your, the, the time that you would have spent with your family Or the time that you would have rested And you say I'm Responding to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala You are a visitor of Allah and Allah is the most generous He honors his visitors and if you die in the process of coming to the masjid or going back to your house You are guaranteed Jannah according to this hadith What more do we need brothers if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking care of us as his visitors? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked by a man, a blind man, he said, Ya Rasulullah, I cannot come to the masjid. He said specifically the prayer, Fajr prayer because I don't have someone to guide me. And Medina to Munawwara is, yani, is not, it, it did not have paved roads. So can you give me permission to pray at home? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Do you hear the adhan? Yes, in another narration he said Do you hear the adhan? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him Do you hear the adhan? He said yes I do hear the adhan And then He said if you hear the adhan you need to respond because Hearing the Adhan, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, you need to respond to the Adhan brothers. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also in, the another, in another hadith he said, Whoever hears the Adhan and does not respond to the Adhan, he has no uh, prayer accepted except in the masjid as long as he does not have other excuse. And Abdullah ibn Abbas who was narrating this hadith, he said, We have known excuse as only two things, not three. One is illness. That is preventing you from coming to the masjid to pray with congregation or fear that you fear for yourself many muslims unfortunately having many other excuses and if they they treat those excuses as if they are guaranteed accepted 
Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, one of the greatest scholars of the companions Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said He said, pray these salawat, pray these, you know, prayers at the right places which is the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It is the guidance from our Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in, in which he had taught us to do And whoever fails to pray the salah in the masjid, he had left the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said at the time of the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam no one would miss prayers at the masjid except that if they are a hypocrite not only hypocrite he said a hypocrite that is known to be a hypocrite and the hypocrisy that we are talking about is the major hypocrisy which is hiding kufr and showing Islam that is how the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's how they perceive the person who does not come to the house of Allah subhanahu wa taala for prayers. And brothers, we treat the masjid as if the opposite of this message came to us, as if the knowledge of Islam is telling us the opposite: to stay at home, to be comfortable in praying wherever that we want. And not only that, the many Muslims, unfortunately, they have neglected the salah to state that they. Pray all these salawat is at the time of their convenience. They combine the prayers at the time of their convenience and believing that they will be accepted. Allahumma izz al Islam wal Muslimin. Allahumma izz al Islam wal Muslimin. Allahumma sur ikhwanan al Muslimin al Mustadafin fi kulli makan ya rahm al Rahimin. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al Akhirat hasana wa qina adab al Nar. Inna Allah ya amur bil Adli wal Ihsan wa Ita idil Qurba wa Inha anil Fahsha wal Munkar wa Baghi idukum la alakum tadkarun. Udkur Allah al Aliyyil Azim idukum. Wa shukruha ala niyamihi yazidkum. Wa qim salah.